U.S. police on Denver's Auraria campus have new tools in their arsenal. These new tools have students concerned about where they're coming from. Denver 7's Micah Smith went to campus today to sort out the facts. Three weeks ago, during a demonstration against police brutality. We organized a vigil and a speak out for, um, as part of a national day of action. College student Shane Carroll Fry's organization, Students for a Democratic Society Denver, or SDS, called Honoraria Campus Police to stop accepting military equipment from the government. Honoraria Campus here, we've been calling for uh, the Auraria Campus Police Department to withdraw from the 1033 program. The 1033 program is a program that they can get military weapons from the Department of Defense, so like M16s and, you know, military vehicles. We took a closer look at the exact equipment Campus Police received and found the department accepted nine reflex sites and one unmanned vehicle. But that information is doing little to soothe SDS member Gerald Mueller's concerns. The fact that just being a part of this program and knowing that they could have access to so many things that are completely unnecessary and completely dangerous. Mueller says SDS started a petition asking campus police to not accept military weapons from the government program. Things like golf carts and binoculars and I'd rather not our student funds be paying for that but we need to know that we can trust them in this program by agreeing not to purchase any more weapons. In a statement, campus police told us the program helps them prepare for any situation and quote, these preparations do not include the use or possession of military weapons. The statement went on to say campus police quote, met with the Students for Democratic Society over the past several months to address and respond to their questions regarding this issue. We are against campus militarization. Mueller says SDS doesn't consider the matter settled until students are guaranteed military weapons don't end up in campus police officers hands. Reporting in Denver, Micah Smith, Denver.